Hi, it's David Worrell, your DIY CFO, and today I've got five cool strategies for you to think about as you spend your PPP loan money. Now, I know what you're saying, but Dave, you've already told us all the ways we have to spend our PPP loan money. You know, okay, that's right. There are ways you have to spend it if you want to be, if you want to get complete forgiveness for your money. But that's not the only way there is to spend it. In fact, I've got five new ideas for you today. So let's dive in. Number five on my list, we'll do the countdown. This is David Letterman style. Number five on my list, follow the rules exactly the way I've already told you and make sure you get 100% forgiveness. That's cool, right? It's easy to do. We already talked a lot about it. So let's go to number four. Bend the rules a little bit. Hmm, all right, how can we bend the rules? Well, one way would be to pay salaries only, to use 100% of the money to pay the best people possible to bring those people into your business so that they can help transform your business in this new normal that we've got going on right now. If you used 100% of the money that you got from PPP to go out and maybe you hire all new people, maybe you fire everybody you've got and start over from scratch, what kind of amazing talent could you bring in to help you transform the company, to do a huge pivot, to launch a huge marketing campaign, to build a new product or revamp your menu or anything else, uh, redesign your entire concept. Could you spend 100% of your PPP loan money on new talent or just better talent or just a few extra people to do exactly what's needed so you can hit the ground running in this new economy? That's, that's number four. And you know what? The cool thing about number four is it's also 100% forgivable. Now, the rest of my strategies are not 100% forgivable, but they're very interesting. Number three, ignore the rules. What do I mean by ignore the rules? I mean, save the money for now. Don't spend it at all. Put it in the bank and wait. Because the one thing we know about our new normal is it changes every day, right? States are starting to open up. There might be a second wave. There might be uh, things opening or things closing. You, you never know. Something else is going to happen tomorrow. And you might need that body of money, that big ball of money that PPP sent you to do something else tomorrow. So save it. There's nobody says you have to spend it. You only have to spend it if you want to have forgiveness of the loan. But if you're willing to accept this as a loan, then you can put it in the bank today and save it for tomorrow and spend it on whatever, <clears throat> whatever suits you when you reopen. And I think that could be a really powerful way to hit the ground running when you reopen. All right. Number two, break the rules. Ah, uh, now you're really starting to listen, right? Break the rules. Nobody says you have to spend this on uh, wages or rent or utilities. Again, that's only for forgiveness. So uh, break the rules by using the money now to pay off things like a high credit card, a high interest rate credit card bill, or to invest in new equipment. Maybe you've got a car loan that needs to be paid off, or really anything, any loan with a longer term than two, uh, with a shorter term than two years, or a higher interest rate than one percent. Right? This is a this is an amazing opportunity to take a two year loan at one percent. Anything that you can use that money for that has a better than one percent return is something you should probably consider. So your twenty percent credit card bill. Your 5% car loan, your 6% mortgage on your office, maybe you've got enough money to pay off or pay down or re use to refinance, use it as a down payment to refinance one or more of those things. So break the rules, uh, invest it in, in higher interest rate uh, bills, invest it in new equipment, invest it in automation. Even invest it into bills that you already owe to your vendors. Is there a key vendor that's really hanging you up because they have stopped shipments to you or they're only doing COD delivery? Maybe you're a restaurant and uh, Cisco Food Service has said, no, nope, sorry, man, we're, we're putting you on the short list. Uh, use this money now to release whatever roadblock it is in front of you. If that's a, a Cisco Food Vendor bill 
or a key vendor of any other kind, maybe that's the best way to spend it. Now you'll have to repay it. I get that. There's no forgiveness for that, but it will unlock the true potential of your business now. Strategy, strategy number one. Strategy number one. This one's different. This one I'm calling go for broke. So on the flip side of this, if you just don't see any way that your business can emerge from the COVID crisis and be a better, stronger business in the future, if you are literally at your rope's end and this PPP money is the only thing you've got in the bank, maybe you need to use it to make your exit a graceful exit. So how can you spend this money to help close down your business in the best way possible? Well, the law says that you should and must and ought to pay your employees first, pay your secured creditors second. So if there's a bank who has a loan out and uh, the business assets secure that loan, you should, you should pay off the bank second. You should pay unsecured creditors third. That's your credit card. You should pay uh, stockholders last. And that means yourself, unfortunately, gets paid last. But maybe with this PPP money, there's even enough money to pay yourself something as you go out of business. So I hope that's not the case. But whatever your situation is, uh, five new strategies for how to spend the PPP money. Follow the rules. Bend the rules by using it for salaries only. Maybe you hire a whole new crew. Uh, ignore the rules. Put it in the bank today. Save it for a sunnier day. Break the rules by paying off high credit card bills, uh, bank loans for your car, investing in a new equipment, paying off that key vendor, maybe finding some automation, creating a new product. Or go for broke and use the money to shut down gracefully the way that a business ought to be put down. Okay, I hope those are five good ideas for you. I hope we've talked about something new. And um, gosh, I hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great stuff like this. So hit the subscribe button below, ring the little bell so you get notified when I post a new video, and write me back. Call me, send me an email. That's what my mom says, call me. Call me or send me an email and let me know what kind of financial problems you're facing and I will do my best to address them right here. I always answer my emails personally. I'm happy to pick up the phone if you call and uh, I, hope, I hope that you'll do exactly that. So thanks for spending some time with me. I'm David Worrell, your DIY CFO. Till next time.